What if Jimmy tears it up undefeated by the bye week? Yeah, what if Jared Goff tears it up undefeated by the bye week, man? He's if- not that guy anymore. I know it, it's like he was 16 and 2. So there's this that's the thing. People are like, well, Jimmy just wins, man. Say what you want to say about Jimmy. He just wins. Nah, nah, <laughs> not anymore, man. That's that no. That's the old Jimmy. They the league has caught up to Jimmy. He's played about 40, 30, 40 games. And everyone knows he doesn't throw outside the numbers or deep or move. So there's a lot of things you can do to shut him down. Pack the pack that little square, that little rectangle between the numbers, uh, between the, the line of scrimmage and 20 yards downfield. Put his I mean, here's the thing. You don't have to, you don't have to play split safeties against him because he ain't throwing deep. You don't I, you don't you can play s- single coverage on the outside because he ain't throwing yep. outside. Just put as many people in that underneath middle zone as possible and dare him to run or throw outside or deep. That's a good way. That's what everyone knows. And that's why he's going to be a mediocre 500 quarterback the rest of his life at best. James, I understand the question. Here's what I'll say to that. What is more likely to happen? Jimmy G tears it up and is undefeated by the bye week or Jimmy G tears it up. And when I say that, I mean his knee again. And now they owe him all this money and can't get out of the contract. Is that something that you want to risk? I don't. Yeah, this could get a lot worse. This contract situation that they have an out on can get a heck of a lot worse than what it is now. He gets injured and they're on the hook for that. Good luck. Good luck to to even future seasons. It doesn't even have to be his knee either. He could injure his ankle week two and miss the Anything. rest of the season. Anything. Yeah. All right. Hold on. I got some more questions. Some more questions. Hold on. All right. All right. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Is that oh, sorry? When I'm about it. What if Jimmy's injury from last season is actually bad and we can't cut him and he wouldn't pass a physical in the trade? You can cut him. He definitely is passing a physical. I mean, he's in a spot. That's a horrible situation. But that going, even if that's a scenario, that is exactly what I just was talking about. What if another injury happens and then he can't pass a physical and and then what happens? Right. I think he could now. I would be shocked if he couldn't now, but I worry that that's not always going to be the case with Jimmy. Yeah. Why can't Kyle listen to you? (laughs) LOL. Maybe one day. I don't know, man. He's stubborn, man. He's stubborn. And he's the smartest man in the room for sure. Yep. Not quite on his level yet. New name for this show. Cones on whisper nights. (laughs) Am I whispering? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Am I getting okay? My bad. I think I might have missed a couple. Hold on. He plays like Alex Smith, and the same reason why Alex Smith got benched for Cap. It's like deja vu. Mm-hmm. Alex Smith is better than Jimmy Garoppolo. He is. He is definitely. That's, Alex okay. Smith yeah. improved a little bit every year. He constantly mm-hmm. kept improving into his thirties. Name one way Jimmy Garoppolo has improved in the last four years. One way. He hasn't. I haven't seen it. He hasn't. And a lot of people want to point to the Mahomes, Alex Smith situation. This is very, very different. Alex Smith was coming off of four solid years with Kansas City before Mahomes was even there. Jimmy G's had one season, one season that I just tore apart and eviscerated with advanced stats. Also this. Yeah. Also, you're right. Alex Smith protected the ball. If you put Alex Smith. On the 2019 49ers, they probably would have won. They won the Super Bowl. They probably would have won. He would have been perfect for that team. He would have. That team could use the game manager who can move a little bit, honestly. It would have been perfect. You're right, because he wouldn't have turned the ball over. And what's to me, the funny thing about Trey Lance is the guy he reminds me of is not Kaepernick. It's Alex Smith. He's very smart. He checks the ball down. The difference is he's got like – 10 times the athleticism Alex Smith had. Like, think about Alex Smith with with uh four or five speed. Did Alex Smith have four? He might have had four or five speed, but Alex Smith with a cannon and the ability to throw deep. Uh yeah. He has he has the, basically the best if you were taking Alex Smith and Kaepernick and you said, give me their best three attributes yes. and combine yes. them, that's yes. Trey Lance. It, pretty much. Good yeah. point.